Hey, this is a list review for the South London Scrap Tournament. Link is in the description. The South London Scrap Tournament is um, it's a seventeen no not seventeen seven fifty point tournament. So it's small points, which is a really interesting meta. I recently had a, a tournament here in Denmark that I was TOing, which had 800 points. Um, and it does mean quite a lot of interesting changes to what people do with their lists. So I'm really interested in seeing what Christopher is doing with that. So um, let's go and watch, shall we? So, it's 11 order dice, 749 points. Oh, pity about that one last point, isn't it? 11 order dice is, is very good. I think you need to be 9 to 12 is where I would think the gold lock zone is for um, 750. Um, the the list I brought to my 800 points tournament was a little above that, but if you're just focusing on infantry, that will quickly happen. Um, a British reinforced platoon, which is a nice way to go because you get free units, isn't it? Hmm. So, and that means that he has spent a lot of points on his units because 11 order dies and one of them is, at least one of them is free, so interesting. Right. Inexperienced first lieutenant. That is not where he spends the points. This is a um, this is like because you have to take a lieutenant. This lieutenant is not going to be useful most of the time. Um, I rarely use mine for anything important. Then we have commandos. Seven men veteran. Ooh, this is a good push unit. Um, behind enemy lines is not massively useful but a little bit tough fighters is useful and that also means that the uh, submachine guns come cheaper which is always nice um, and seven men veteran they can really push up they can push and clear objectives which is very very useful to have then we have a regular infantry section five men four rifles one lmg i don't think the lmg is worth it at all um, it takes away one rifleman, and you could just as easily have bought another rifleman for the points, too, indeed. Um, which would have been way more useful. Um, so for me, I never, ever buy LMGs, unless there's something very specific in the pack that means that the LMG has some sort of boot, boost. Um, I don't, I, it, they're not really worth it. I've even made with videos on, on why I don't think uh, LMGs are worth it, so... Um, for me, that would be 20 points that I would save and use on something else. The free artillery observer, that is going to be key, especially in low point games. Um, use that at the right moment and you can actually win the game with this one uh, observer. In low point games, it will have the added effect that the enemy will tend not to ha have to clump up um, because they've got more board to spread their army across. But if they do so, you can hit them where it hurts. So that's always good. Engineers, Royal Engineers section, British and Canadian sector, veterans, they're really good again. This is another push unit. And with a five-man unit, they need transport. You could go Canadians and then get them regulars. That would save you a few points, but not massively needed. Um, paratroopers, again, stubborn. They're good veteran unit, good push unit. They're, they've are got they got rifles, so they are set up as a skirmish unit, but they can actually push quite well. Um, just don't assault with them. Special rule, vengeance. Yes, this is the way to go. If you're running a skirmish Brits or like close in fighting Brits, not assault Brits, then vengeance is the way to go because that will benefit your whole army except your inexperienced dudes. And most Brits are not inexperienced. They're regular veterans. So vengeance, really good. Boys anti-tank rifle team. Hmm. It is pretty cheap, but a 
plus two. It's not going to damage much armor, but then again, at 750, you're not going to see much armor. So maybe it's enough. Maybe it is enough. A light howitzer. Yes. The 25, the British 25 pounder, because it can shoot directly with a full plus um, um, anti tank gun, or it can shoot HE with a two inch template. It's really useful. Uh, regular is really useful as well on this. It can lock down lanes of fire. It can lock down a flank where you put it on ambush in some area terrain. It will lock down that flank. The only thing is it will be vulnerable to counter battery fire from enemy mortars. British Airborne Recce Jeep. Yes, twin MMGs. Love this little Jeep. I have four of them. I don't need four, but they're just so useful and so cheap. At 45 points, 10 shots are just too good not to use. The only reasons why I sometimes, sometimes don't take this as my armored car choice is that with early war motorcycles, you can take three instead at 35 points. So a little bit cheaper individually, but more expensive on average, uh, uh, like in total. Um, but it does give you three order dice as well. So that is one way to go also. Or if you take an armored car that's actually a tank, like a Staghound or an AEC, then because you're wanting tanks, right? But if I'm not going either way in one or two of those directions, I am definitely taking this one because it's just so good. Transport, Bren Carrier, the best transport of the game. With the Pintle Mud LMG, so it can split fire, it's a miniature tank, and it's perfect in setup for the engineers. Those engineers are going to move up in the brain carrier. The brain carrier is going to fire on the target of the engineers, preferably, or on other targets that you might want to, like split firing, so you pin two targets. Give them one pin, have the engineers walk out, flamethrower, and now you're pretty likely to kill that target because you've already pinned it. So it's there are, there are more pins to damage it. Perfect, perfect little vehicle. And the Crusader 3 AA Mark II. This I am seeing a crop up now. I may have to get myself one as well. At 135 points, it is pretty cheap. It's an A+, it's not vulnerable. And it has two light autocannons in the turret which are really useful, not against heavy tanks, not against like even light tanks in, but in, at range, but, but against veterans or against the flanks of tanks or against soft skin vehicles. And even if you fire HE, you can start pinning tanks. That is just, that's a good little thing. And with four shots, you're very likely to hit very, very likely to hit. I really like that. This is a really good list. At 750 points, I, I think that this could even beat some thousand point armies. Really good list. Very, very heavy on the vehicles. Uh, lighter on the infantry, but it does still have push units. I really like it. Right. Thank you so much for this list. It has a lot of potential, I think. A lot of potential, and you can do well with it. Christopher, good luck at South London Scrap. To everyone going, good luck as well. Cheers.